the summertime. Summertime, that's right. We're in Dana Point, California. Gonna have some nice, very crowded breakfast probably, because <laughs> that's how it goes here. Uh, we're parking like out a mile away from the harbor, so if you're ever gonna come here, realize it's crazy busy on the weekends. The harbor is down there. Yeah, but the main point of us coming here is to talk about tripods. So, Peak Design Travel Tripod blowing everybody's mind. <laughs> Super cool, <laughs> uh, but insanely expensive, like 300 bucks or something for the aluminum, like $600 for the, what is it, carbon fiber one? Yeah. And I mean, they are legit though. It's got all sorts of fancy things. I think it's got probably its drawbacks. It's a generation one product, right? Yeah, and it doesn't come out till January. It doesn't come out till January. You have to kickstart it, which, you know, I get. I love their company. I use their products, Peak Design straps and stuff. But, you know, I think there's, for as many pros that it has, I think it's got some serious cons. Price being a huge one, so. I found, not long ago, a magical little tripod, a bunch of tripods actually, that I think are better if you're on a budget. So we're gonna try those, and I'm gonna show you what's up with those ones uh, today. Didn't you used to live over here? Yeah, I lived on I lived on Copper Lantern. Um, I never I think I showed you my old place once. It's like it was like a sixplex. It was pretty cool. I stayed there for a year. Dana Point's kind of a sleepy town. Um, I don't know. I mean, you come down once in a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I used to come to the beach here a lot in high school. Yeah, it's a cool spot for that kind of stuff. Um, the harbor is just crazy busy though. Yeah. Last time we were here, it was insanely busy. We tried to go to breakfast here and it was an hour and a half wait yeah. for breakfast at one of like the newer spots. Yeah, they, have, re they have really good bacon there. But... It's RJ's Cafe maybe, that one? Is that what we tried? I don't remember the name of it because we didn't get to go. It's too busy. Remember that one time we tried to go paddle boarding? I and... do. And it was so much wind that they wouldn't even let us take them out. So every time I've tried to go paddle boarding, we can't go. It's a huge bummer. I've been trying to take them paddle boarding the entire time we've dated and we've never succeeded. Zero chances of getting me on a paddleboard apparently because the universe does not want it to happen. Time to get some food and uh, then we'll show you our favorite tripod and the best thing about it is it's super portable so. And it's super cheap <laughs> like crazy cheap compared. Yeah, yeah definitely. A tenth of the price. I'm finally going to show you what I think is the best travel tripod if you're on a budget. It fits in this tiny little day pack that I carry on a lot of our trips. I've carried this all around the world with me. And let me just open it up. I have a, a whole video all about this too in the description. Here it is. Super small travel tripod. So this was made in like the 1950s and 1960s. Some of them were made in Japan, some of them were made in Germany. You can find both on eBay for about $30. It comes with a fully adjustable, you can shoot vertical style photos or horizontal style obviously, or video. Uh, video head with this, you tighten and loosen it by here. Everything's made of metal except for the parts that like, these little plastic pieces, that's it. Just a couple pieces, right? It looks small though, right? But it's not, it's got a trick up its sleeve. It has fully extendable legs the telescope out just like that and boom you've got a nice little tripod for shooting right when you're on a trip what's really nice too is it has full elevation so you can adjust your height if I want I can raise and lower it to the exact height I need it's got a normal style tripod mount here on the top with a screw I usually attach a different ball head though. I do like this handle, but I don't find, and I'll show you an example of how it looks when you actually do like a video pan. I got it thinking I could do, you know, panning like this and get smooth action, and you kind of can. And I'll show you what that looks like. But typically what I do is I just remove this whole thing. It even makes the tripod even lighter. So then usually what I do is I attach just a ball head like this. This is just one of the little cheap ball heads. I use this DQ10 quick release that I use on my gimbals and all my other tripods so that I can switch my camera back and forth really quickly. Make sure everything's nice and tight. And this will support my M50, no problem. Okay, so I have the Canon M50 here. I have it set up with the 18 to uh, 150 millimeter lens, Canon M uh, EFM lens. And that's the heaviest setup you can get in this. I have that DQ10 and this holds it no problem. I can just slap it on here, make sure the legs are nice and extended and you're good to go. 
it's fine it's not gonna fall over it's not super unsteady it's not crazy sturdy if you want an insanely sturdy tripod for like long exposures spend the 300 bucks spend the 600 bucks but if you want to take some photos where you want to walk away use a remote shutter and hit it you're good to go this is all you need you can fully adjust it because you're on a ball head it's fine you can size this guy down so whatever you need and you're good to go it's totally fine that's the nice thing about this tripod is that it's so small, you can take it with you, it extends down like this, and it even works as a tabletop tripod when you're in a location where you want like a lower shot. You could still use the tripod just like this. And you could set it low if you wanted, you know, you could get a low shot. You could extend this guy back down if you want it to be really, really stable. I've used this for a lot of like time lapsing when there's a lot of wind and I don't want the camera to fall, it's really sturdy like this. If I loop a bag around it, I'm set, it's no problem. Easy peasy, ready to go. So I recommend mix it with a, like a modern ball head. It's the biggest dogs ever. <laughs> mix it with the, uh, like a, a modern ball head and you've got a really slick setup. Uh, drawbacks of this thing. The biggest one is that you have really two heights. So you've got this super low height and then you've got your eight inches or so of adjustment that you can do. And then you've got the full extended height. Whereas with the other tripods, you could set it kind of halfway, click in all the legs, try to match them all, make them all the same. We've all done that. We all know how hard it is to actually use like a telescoping leg halfway and click the little release and make sure they're all the same and stuff. But um, so by and large though, most stuff that you're probably gonna be doing with a tripod when you're traveling around, unless you're like a pro, this thing's gonna be fine for it. This is just a fantastic way to get a quick shot. Even here, look at this. You can put it anywhere you want and it's stable. Obviously I'd want something a little wider for this, but you're good to go if you just need to get that. Get all those boats. Get all those boats. Mm. I've even used this thing as a crazy, let me make sure it's tight there, a crazy makeshift selfie stick. Boom, done. You got your extendable tripod. You got what you need. You're good to go. So these go for like 20 to $30 on eBay. Some of them have the uh, elevation uh, option. Some of them come with the original leather bags if you want that from like the 50s. They're so cool. They're really durable. They've lasted longer than I've been alive. So they're probably gonna outlast me again as long as you take good care of it. But this thing's been through Thailand, Belize, Mexico, all sorts of places with me. And it's been an awesome little companion for my camera. So definitely recommend it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. In the meantime, we're just gonna enjoy the rest of our day here in the harbor. Enjoy the sunshine. Bye. See ya.